you know, I'm a big fan of, of, of big companies. I think that they just need to be managed correctly. Like mm. I like Monsanto. I don't like Nestle. So, yeah. You like Monsanto, Love not Monsanto. Nestle. Really? Yeah. What? They're like the, yeah. Oh man. They're like, they're like the Maccas of, of GMO. They like fucking, you know, if, every kind I met in San Francisco got trained by Monsanto because oh. they just employ everyone, right? So they're a huge company with, with money. Um, they don't turn over heaps. Like if you compare them to some, some like big pharmaceutical companies, they turn over- Whole foods as well. You can turn over nothing. people like that. Big or, yeah, big organic is actually a fucking thing. And they're, they're the problem, not, not, right. not Monsanto. Like, oh, I, man, I could literally do a four hour rant about this. So <laughs> we won't go heaps into it now because no. I feel very strongly. I've read every single court case Monsanto's had. And you know what? Like if, you know, they say, if you want to make- uh, a kid an atheist you get him to read the bible yeah yeah you want to make someone like pro monsanto you get him to read the court, ca- court <laughs> oh, cases we, oh, we do a uh, post chat as part of these interviews me and we talk about it so I'll, I'll, I'll bring him around to our monsanto, yeah. our monsanto <laughs> love there yeah and i think it, it actually reflects it reflects a lack of scientific education in the community oh, yeah. so part of the reason we set up spaces like this is to engage with these people you know we have fucking kind of like friends of the earth that are an anti-gmo lobby and activist group that turn over $2 million a year, their financial records are online, flying protesters to our events during Science Week to hand out flyers against us, and we literally turn over 20 grand a year, saying, spreading lies, saying things like, we're unregulated, we don't know what we're doing, we're not skilled, we're not trained. And it's complete and utter bullshit, you know? Um, and, and, and this is a manifestation of the organic industry. And my friends are like, you know, I've got heaps of hippie friends. Oh, why are you so fucking against organic? It's because you buying organic at the store, those dollars eventually trickle to a company like this mm. that tries to shut me down. You know, Monsanto feed a fucking billion people. How many hippies feed a billion people? None, because you yeah. can't do it with organic farming. That's you know, right. you need to use GMO and conventional crops. Like, you know, it would be lovely if we could all like, you know, save the world by having a veggie garden in our, in our backyard. Mm. But the reality is that, that doesn't work. Especially when you have 7 billion people to feed. It's, it's, and it, by 2050, it's oh, going to be a lot nine, more. Some, nine. Like some nine, right? Crazy amount of, yeah. People. You need real solutions. And this is why I urge pragmatism. Like, yeah. you know, put your ideology aside, look at the science, look at the companies that are around and find fucking solutions and just do it. Like, yeah. like really, be, be brave enough as a greenie, especially to put aside your ideology and look at the data. Like mm-hmm. this is part of the reason I'm with science party is the greens are ideologically opposed to nuclear and GMO, even though they have demonstrated benefits and that, and I can't budge on that. Like, you know, I'm not going to let the world die because I want to be right. You know, I'd rather <laughs> fucking right. save it, change my mind and opinion. Yeah. And when you're a green with that, you become a scientist and that's why science party exists. Right. So, Thanks for listening to Blab Coats. Rate and review our podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast, because it does help us spread the word. And if you like what we're doing here, then help us grow it by sharing this with a friend, a friend of a friend, or your mailman, even your mailman's mailman. We also want to hear from you, so send us questions or comments to blabcoats at gmail.com. And if you have any interesting questions or comments, then we'll talk about it on air.